Hi, uh, I'm Jonathan, Technical Director here at Parwells. Uh, today we're going to have a look at uh, some choices for ceramics to use with uh, pipe welding or, or um, in a fillet welding application where you want to walk the cup along the joint. A um, simple setup would be to use a standard torch with a uh, collet body and uh, standard ceramic on. Makes it quite small at the front end. One of the problems uh, with that is you, uh, you don't get particularly good gas coverage. So it's easy, I can walk the cup, uh, no problem. I've got lots of articulation on the torch, but I don't get particularly good ca gas coverage from this setup. An upgrade to that would be to use the uh, gas lens setup. Um, gas lens cup will give you very good uh, gas coverage. Uh, the disadvantage here is when we try and walk the cup, I've got much more bulk on the front of the nozzle and so I can't really articulate the torch as much as I'd want to. A solution for that would be to go with this extended uh, gas lens cup. So we've got the extended nozzle at the front Straight away we can see we get much better torch articulation. I can walk uh, the cup quite easily along the job, making sure the heat's lapping up either side of the joint. No problem at all. The only disadvantage is this extra length here means that I may have problems where I'm fouling some other pipe work or other parts of the job when I'm moving the torch around. So not really a very good solution unless you need to get into a deep uh, narrow gap. Uh, what we're just introducing now is uh, what we call a pipe walking cup. So this is a, a gas lens cup, but with a small extension on the front. Uh, the advantage of this is I've still got the gas lens, so I've got the excellent gas coverage. And because of that extension on the front, I've got full articulation, the torch in the joint. So I can really nicely work the heat around the joint and uh, walk the nozzle along the plate. So best of both ways really with the, uh, the pipe walking cup. Uh, I've got good gas coverage and I've got very good articulation. Um, the cups come in a number of different sizes to suit the sort of joint geometry you're working with. So we've got uh, smaller, smaller diameter cups. So if we had um, a smallish V prep, you'd use the smaller diameter to sit in that V so it's easier to control the cup because you're just running inside the V, whereas the bigger diameter would tend to roll over the edges of the, of the joint and give you difficulty controlling it. So uh, what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to set up a little weld and show you exactly how much articulation you can get and how well you can ma manipulate the weld pool in, in, in action. Okay, so uh, hopefully you can see there the advantage of using the, uh, the pipe walking ceramic, giving you the extra uh, manipulation on the torch. Uh, quick little tip, if you're not sure about uh, ceramic sizes, you'll notice that most ceramics got a number on the side, six, seven, eight, etc. That's the size of the bore at the front of the ceramic in sixteenth of an inch. So six is six sixteenths. 7 is 7 sixteenths, 8 is 8 sixteenths. So it doesn't matter on the style of the ceramic. You can see there I've got two number 8s. They've got the same bore size, 8 sixteenths of an inch. So it's a quick, easy way to identify the bore size of your ceramic. Just have a look at the number and work, work that out as 8 sixteenths of an inch and uh, you, know, you know what size you've got. Thanks for watching the video. Um, we've got more videos coming up. If you like the video, please like and subscribe, uh, then you'll get notified when we've got more content coming through. Thanks again.